Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jazz. I'm super excited because today we're gonna be doing such a fun video. We're doing a what's in my bag video. If you're nosy like me, I literally used to go on YouTube and just search up what's in my purse, what's in my bag, what's in my book bag, what's in my makeup bag all the time because as a nosy person, I love seeing what people carry around. So I get it, no judgment here. You wanna see what's in my bag? I will show you. We're gonna get straight into it okay this is the bag that i have as of i want to say it's been two months now i bought this bag as an everyday just a very classic elegant everyday bag that carries all of my essentials everything that i need to carry for when i'm running errands for when i'm having a long day out just anything like that obviously i have several different bags and Actually, I don't have that many bags. Believe it or not, I don't have that many bags. But I do have other bags that are way smaller, carry way less things. So obviously, this bag looks a little... This little heavy looks a little packed. Obviously, the other smaller bags don't carry all this stuff. But I am going to show you for the sake of this video what I love to carry in my everyday bag. Now, the reason I got this bag was because it was bigger than your average like purse and it's able to carry so much more things. I'm the type of girl that if you need tweezers, I got them. I got tweezers. If you need, I don't know, if you need a band-aid, oh, I got two. Do you need three? Because I have three as well. It's just, I'm that type of person, you know, I love to carry stuff in my purse. So I'm not really fond of the smaller purses where you kind of have to like very selectively pick and choose what you need to carry in your everyday bag. I love a good bag. I just love a good spacious bag. And this is her. I got her two months ago. I'm not even going to try to say the name because I think I'm going to butcher it. So I'm just going to leave the title of this or the name of this bag somewhere on the screen. And so far... It is my favorite bag ever. Again, I got it as an everyday bag and she has served well. She has served well as an everyday bag for sure. So to open it, you just get this little clasp here and you take it out, which I think is so cute and so clever. It is packed. It's usually this packed because again, I just love to carry everything around. Like you never know. You just never know when you're gonna need something. First thing are my keys i have my car keys attached here this is from amazon it's kind of dirty now but it's just like a little leather strap got this little keychain here that my dad got me from mexico as well just attached to my keys nothing special nothing crazy then i have a pack of gum i'm obsessed with my breath especially when i'm out in public and i hate the feeling of like especially as somebody who drinks a lot of coffee when you drink coffee that after aftertaste that coffee leaves in your breath is just gross please carry some gum around okay i love carrying gum around you never know when you're gonna need a little little piece of gum okay okay gum that's it classic i also have this extra phone battery charger so this is my phone and yes i carry it around with no case so the way this battery charger works it's magnetic literally just sticks to the back of your phone and it just starts charging it i got this on amazon because i didn't want to carry the power banks that you have to like plug in i found that that was just like more annoying and more more hassle than it had to be so this one is very convenient i know apple sells one of these as well i don't like the one by apple i just the, the one from amazon works just as well so i always have this charge especially since i do a lot of content Filming drains the heck out of my battery. So I always always like to make sure that I'm carrying this around It's fully charged whenever I need to charge my phone. Just literally snap it And that's it. I don't know why it's getting on crooked, but that's it and now it charges my phone next thing I like to carry around is a camera I just got this camera the one that I'm filming with right now is usually the one that I like to carry around But I like this camera for pictures better. This is the Canon SX 730 HS if you want to do more research about this, I recommend just honestly searching it up on TikTok. I just searched it up in the search bar and a lot of people had their own opinions. A lot of people had their reviews. A lot of people posted the pictures that come out of this camera and I love it. I mean, I know the G7X Mark II is very popular right now and sold out almost everywhere and it's literally like $700. This makes almost the exact same quality of pictures for literally like half the price. So I got this off Facebook Marketplace. It was $350. Do not sleep on Facebook Marketplace. But yeah, I just like to carry around a little camera. Okay, we're only young once. We're only... We're only gonna do some life experiences once. Life only comes once around. Why not photograph? 
the beautiful memories, you know? I love my iPhone, but sometimes those pictures just don't cut it. They don't feel special. They don't feel the same. If you know what I'm, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Like you take a picture on your iPhone and it's just like, okay, well now it's in my phone. But you take a picture on a camera and it's just it just captures the moment so much better. So if you're looking at to invest in a digital camera, I definitely recommend this one. The one that I film with though is the Sony ZV-1. That is great for videos. I do not like it for pictures. I think the pictures come out super blurry, which is why I only carry it for vlogging purposes. And this one is for pictures. Okay, next thing I'm carrying around as well are just my AirPods. I actually don't always have these in my purse. I have found that sometimes I just wanna pop in my AirPods if I'm out in public. That was a tongue twister. That was a tongue twister. I want to pop in my AirPods when I'm out in public. I want to pop in my AirPods when I'm out in public. And it's just great to carry these around. Sometimes I also just want to edit videos if I'm out in public. And I like being able to hear, obviously, the audio without having to play out loud. These are tiny. Like, I feel like everyone carries AirPods around. Next thing that I carry around... Oh my god, I don't know why there's cat hair all over this, but is a hand sanitizer. These are those fancy hand sanitizers, you guys. I know. They send these to me in PR. Otherwise, I would probably have the cheaper ones because I don't think this is worth I don't know how much this costs now. I think it's cost I think it costs $15 now. Let's be for real. They're great though. They are great. I love them. I do carry them around. Um, just one though. One little bottle of hand sanitizer. I hate the feeling of having like dirty hands, you know? Like Sometimes if you're out all day, you just know that feeling of like dirty hands. I don't like that feeling, which is why I love to carry around hand sanitizer. In the pocket in my purse here, there's a little zipper pocket. I just have my wallet. Um, I don't like attaching these to my keys because I lose my keys often. I don't want to lose my wallet with it. Also, sometimes I just like to pull my wallet out real quick without having to pull out the whole thing of keys. So I just keep this one loose in my bag. Last single item in here is this little hairbrush. Obviously, I'm not gonna brush my hair right now because it's wavy, but when my hair is blown out or straight, it tends to get tangled way quicker. I love to carry around a hairbrush because I just love brushing my hair. I don't know, I love getting those knots out and those tangles out in the middle of the day. I know that sounds really weird. Honestly though, this isn't a very like, this isn't the best brush to be carrying around. I feel like I should carry around just like a smaller comb or like, you know those brushes from like the early 2000s that like fold in and they have a little mirror? I should probably carry one of those around because this is pretty big. But it's just a little brush though, so that's it. Now, the last thing in here, but the most important one and the bigger item in here is this little pouch. Literally fits in here. Kind of takes up all the space, this little pouch. But I love this little pouch. I call this my everyday bag essentials little pouch. Obviously, like I said before, when I trade out my purses and I'm carrying a smaller one or I'm just not carrying around a tote bag because I could also fit this in a tote bag, I'm not going to put this in a smaller purse. It just won't fit in there. So maybe I'll take out some of the items. But I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you what's in here. It opens up like this. And I did get this little pouch off of Amazon. Very convenient, like very, such a good pouch. Anyways, first thing I have in here is a hand lotion. This one is by Fenty Skin. It's the Hydra Visor Broad Spectrum Sunscreen Hand Cream. This stuff is amazing. It leaves your skin feeling so soft, but not like too oily or, or greasy. I don't like using hand moisturizers that leave your hand feeling like icky because you know, I'm, it's the middle of the day. I don't want my hands feeling super icky. So this one's really great. Then I have two lippies in here. I have this Summer Fridays lip balm and then I have this Road lip treatment. Honestly, you guys, usually I have way more than these. Like usually I have a lip gloss, a lip liner. I'm surprised. I must have just cleaned out my bag, honestly. But usually, trust me, I literally... Actually, do I have a lip liner in here? But yeah, usually I'm carrying around a lip liner, a lip gloss, Aquaphor on top of these. Like, I like to carry, I like to make sure I am stacked on the lippies when it comes to my purse. And I like to carry these three around in here just in case. You never know, like, if these burst along with my lippies, any lip glosses or any other lip liners that I'm carrying around. I like to make sure I put them in this pouch instead of just putting them in my purse because I don't want this to, like, burst or for this to, like, I don't know, just open magically and then get all over the inside of my purse, make it all dirty. You know what I'm talking about. This has probably happened to you because it's happened to every girl. This is like a universal girl experience. So I like to make sure that I'm putting these in my pouch, which is also why I love this pouch because if it spills in here, it spills in here, that's fine. But it 
doesn't get your purse dirty so that's great next thing i'm carrying around in here is this little oh, little baby makeup wipe i love how small this is look at this it's not even the size of my palm i think this is so cute you never know when you're out all day you did your makeup and i don't know mascara is getting everywhere or like pride and your eyeliner got everywhere and you just need a makeup wipe or it's just a long day and you just really want to take off your makeup you know what i'm talking about like Let's say you, you were out, you weren't expecting to be gone all day, and then you have a long drive back home, and you just want to take off your makeup. Like, there is this point in the day when your makeup just starts to feel so heavy. Little makeup wipe to take that off. Next thing I have in here, honestly, this makes no sense, but I have a little La Mer, <laughs> a little tiny moisturizing lotion i do have dry skin so maybe one day i'll feel like oh my skin feels really dry you know when your skin just feels really dry throughout the day that happens to me mostly in the winter and sometimes i'm like i really wish i had a moisturizer or i really wish i had like some water spritz rose water spritz obviously i can't carry a full size moisturizer and full size rose water spritz around but i can carry this little thing around so this is for like an like a super like emergency type of situation and it's so little you guys like it's the size of my pinky it's so little it doesn't take up any space in my purse next thing i have in here this little tylenol bottle with some tylenol obviously every once in a while i'll get a really bad headache or i don't know i'm just on my period something hurts i like to make sure that i have some tylenol so i'm not just going around asking people or like having to stop by a store and buy some i also carry this around in my car but literally you just never know also i just love being able to like offer people like if somebody's like oh my head hurts i'm like do you want some tylenol i have this in my purse do you want some i'm that person so i don't know i also have this little tiny perfume sample i love the scent of this perfume i'm not really quite sure why i'm carrying it around in this little i don't even know this has any but i'm carrying around a little tiny perfume sample then i'm carrying around two hair ties one is this really tiny one because sometimes i just want to put my hair in a braid not necessarily in a ponytail so i carry this one around for if i want to put my hair in a braid and then i have this one in case i want to put my hair up completely into a ponytail then i also have a couple of other emergency things so i have a band-aid in here i have a shout wipe and these are amazing if you're still carrying around tie pens i don't know what to tell you go throw the tie pen away i promise you as a tie pen girl too but once I tried out these shout wipes, they are just unmatched. Like they literally get rid of the stain immediately. And it's a, it's a full size like wipe in a little packet. So you can really get that spot. This will actually take out the stain. I also carry around, what is, what is this called? An Alka-Seltzer? Alka-Seltzer? I also carry around an Alka-Seltzer um, <laughs> in case my tummy hurts. In case, I don't know. Sometimes I just get a little bit of a tummy ache. This always cures my tummy aches. But again, this is more of like an emergency. I'm not just carrying this around because I'm going to use it day to day, but it's just an emergency. And I do not like being in public when my tummy feels weird or uncomfortable or hurts. That's... Take me home. So, I have this just in case. I know this seems really excessive, but you guys, you guys don't understand. Like, okay, let me explain. I have a little nail clipper, okay? Little tiny, little tiny nail clipper. I also have a little nail filer. I also have some little tweezers and I have some little scissors here. You never know when you need some scissors. These are very tiny, but they're still functional as scissors. You know what I'm talking about? There are some moments where you're like, wow, I really need some scissors. I really need to cut this. Maybe there's like a little thread on your shirt. That's mo most of the time, that's when I catch myself saying where are my scissors at this will get it this will get those little threads then some tweezers i don't know maybe i'll get a splinter sometimes i get splinters sometimes i do get splinters and i'm like wow i could really use some tweezers or sometimes honestly i'm just going about my day and i realize that my eyebrows look terrible and i'm like why am i out in public with my eyebrows looking terrible so i'll carry these little tweezers around quickly little fix myself up very 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 convenient I also have these little nail clippers because I am a cuticle biter. I know that is so gross, but if my anxiety gets really bad, I'll just literally start biting my cuticles until you have that little piece of cuticle that you can't just rip off because you will literally bleed, but now it's just hanging there. This, you can just clip it off. You can just clip it off with this little, little, little nail clipper. And then a nail filer because my nails are on the longer side and sometimes I just 
sometimes they break and they're all uneven or sometimes there's a little scratch just a little piece hanging off so i just carry a little nail filer around to make sure that my nails aren't bothering me during the day especially if i'm gonna be out in public for a really long time because trust me i have been there if you have nails like these you know what i'm talking about like you're going about your day and your nail breaks and now it's all uneven and it just bothers the heck out of you or like it's about to break and you need to file that part off and it's just so annoying I mean, this doesn't take up any space in my purse. There's no harm. There's no harm in carrying this around. I also have these two little Listerine packets. Again, I am annoyingly, annoyingly obsessed with my breath. So I carry around these little Listerine strips and also the little Listerine spray just in case. Again, you never know. Back. Mm, that is refreshing. You can literally feel it like coming out of your nose. <coughs> My favorite thing. The screen is my favorite thing. And the last thing that I have in here, I got this off of Amazon. It's this cute little compact mirror that opens up. And it's dirty right now, but it's dirty because I have breath mints in here. Well, only one. I only have one breath mint in here now, but I know. I just realized I have like four things that fix my breath. That is how annoying I am about my breath. Um, I apologize in advance. But you can also just put like pills in here. You can put Tylenol. You can put breath mints. You could put, I don't know, medication that you want to carry around. I just think this is cute because it also doubles as a mirror even though I have it a little bit dirty right now. But I think it's cute that it's a little pill holder and a mirror. Just so convenient and it's so cute. It looks a little vintage. And that was the last thing that I had in this little pouch. And that is the end of what's in my purse slash what's in my bag. Everything fits in here pretty comfortably. I love how this purse isn't very stiff. So like there's a lot of flexibility with what can fit and how it fits in here. And I occasionally also put my iPad mini in here. Obviously, I don't carry my iPad mini around everywhere. But if I'm going out for a long day or if I'm going out to a coffee shop or whatever, I do like to carry my iPad mini around. And it does fit in here, believe it or not. And this isn't that heavy because kind of feels like a tote bag. I used to carry tote bags instead of this around. And... I, I love my tote bags. I have my little collection of tote bags that I carry around. But sometimes you just want like a good purse that does it all. A good like mid-sized purse that carries everything you need without having to carry around a tote bag. And this feels very similar like in terms of weight to my tote bags. This is what it looks like. Oh, she's my favorite. I love her. She's so pretty. I want you to comment something that you carry around in your purse that I did not show you. Like something obscure, something random. I'm that type of person, again, that I love to carry. I love to carry everything in my purse. I'm like those grandmas that you tell them, oh my God, I need like, I don't know, like I need a flash drive. And they're like, here, like I'm that type of person. So if you have something in your purse or in your bag that I did not mention that you carry around that you swear by, Comment it because I might add it to my list. I'm, I'm probably gonna steal it off of you if I'm being honest. I'm gonna add it to my purse. So make sure to comment. I love replying to the comments and I love chatting to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.